Hi, welcome to Kaggle Titanic Solution. In this video, we will build multiple classifier to predict our Titanic test dataset. We will also do cross validation before submit. And finally, we will submit our test results to Kaggle and check out our score. Let's get it. In the previous video, we converted all training and test dataset to feature vectors. Here, what you can see here. Now it is the most fun part, modeling. So let me go to my PPT here, which classifier to use for modeling. Well, in this video, I will introduce and use five popular classifiers. Let's suppose we should predict if Simpson survived or not. Each classifier has different approach. For better understanding, Let's suppose we only have two features in the data and represented on the x-axis and y-axis here. Okay, first, k and n, which means k nearest neighbor algorithm. If k is 3, the classifier take 3 nearest item and return majority of 3. In this example, there are 2 survive while 1 dead. So the KNN here predicts the Simpson was survived. How about if the K is 5? You can see there are 3 dead and 2 survive. So 5 nearest neighbor predicts the Simpson is dead here. You can recognize the prediction may different depends on the K. Okay, the next classifier I will use is decision tree. Decision tree uses all the features we have in the data set and predicts like the given diagram here. The next classifier is random forest, which is nothing but multiple small decision trees inside. Each small tree has a subset of features from data set and their answer may vary. Just like KNN, take majority class as a prediction. Here, two trees predicted dead in three trees here. So random first predicts the Simpson is dead here. Naive Bayes classifier uses probability. Let's suppose we just have two features, age and sex. Probability of survive given age and sex is like this. All right. Well, lastly, I use SVM, which means support vector machine. You can see the red line, which means co we call decision boundary. The classifier will answer if he, he is dead, if the he is above the decision boundary, and if she is under the decision boundary, the SVM will answer she is alive. In SVM, the decision boundary is drawn with uh, the greatest margin by the support vector, which is the uh, boundary item in each class you can see here. Well, my description for each class well, should be enough for this video, but if you eager to learn about this classifier specifically, you can search my name in the YouTube. So if you go to the YouTube here, youtube.com and uh, you can search my name means up KNN then you can see my KNN videos here also if you are interested in the decision tree means up decision tree then you can find the decision tree videos here also if you are interested in the base algorithm then base naive base naive base then also you can find my naive base classifier so all of these classifiers are very important and if you want to know very specifically about this classifier, please welcome, just see my videos, then you will have more understanding about this classifier. Alright, so let's talk about the cross-validation because the cross-validation is also very important. So the next one is the cross-validation. So why do we need cross-validation? Think about when you don't use cross-validation, 
you may split some portion of train data and validate on it. This may result in higher accuracy, but it might be low accuracy if you select the, the other portion of the train data like this diagram. Cross-validation such as K-Fold allows you to validate all of your train data and helps you find best fit model. Well, first, we split the train data. Here, I use 10 folds. You see, each fold has 89 rows, and last fold has 90 rows. And then, we validate, uh, we validate 10 rounds, like this. Make sure you validate on the different fold for each round. After finishing all rounds, you can average accuracy and you pick the best accuracy model for your test. Okay, that's it. So let's go back to my Jupyter Notebook now. So modeling. Here you can see I just import K nearest classifier, decision tree classifier, random forest, naive ways, and SVM. And I'm going to use NumPy here. So you don't have to in, uh, implement all the classifier for this uh, Kaggle competition. You can just easily use the sklearn classifiers. It's going to be just one line, uh, one line implementation for every classifier. It will save your time. And here, as you can see, I import kfold for the cross validation. I'm going to use cross validation score here. So here I used 10 splits. So I'm going to use 10 fold for my cross validation. First, I'm, I'm, I'm using the K nearest, K near neighbors and classifier here. And I use 13 neighbors. So cross validation score, I got these 10 scores and I just used an average of this score. I got 82.6. So KNN gave me 82.6 accuracy here. How about the decision tree? Decision tree, here as you can see, it's just one line to have this classifier. It makes your life very easy. And the score is 79.69. How about the random forest here? The random forest gave me 80.59. 80 and the naive base classifier gave me 78.78 and the SVM gave me 83.5. So because this SVM, the average accuracy is the highest one for the testing, I'm going to use SVM. So here is the test. So I'm going to use SVM as my classifier and I'm going to use the train data here CLF classifier that fit. So I'm going to train this SVM model with train data. So for the testing, I'm going to drop the passenger ID because the passenger ID I don't need for the testing, right? So I'm going to use this test data exclude uh, passenger ID here, and the prediction will be from the classifier SVM classifier predict with the test data. Because the Kaggle require me to have the passenger ID and the survive, I'm going to create a new data frame here with the test and the prediction uh, with the test passenger ID here and the predicted value. And just create a CSV file from this result. And if you want to see the CSV file, you can just pd dot read underscore csv and that head, then it will give you the result here. Alright, so I should have the submission the CSV file. So I'm going to go to the Kaggle here and submit my prediction and upload submission file here and it should be this one all right and complete it and you just say submit it and then make submission okay what's the result here let me see so my score is 78.9. It's a little bit lower than the 80%, but you can see here I'm at the 2600 rank in the uh, about 9,000 people like here, right? 
So it's pretty fair score. You can improve my code if you want to have more than 80% accuracy here. So this is it. This is it for you. And uh, I'm going to show you the reference here because I also got a lot of ideas from Kaggle, Connor, and the blogs. I really appreciate everybody who shared their idea. And uh, I really want my, this video also contribute for the data science. All right, that's it. And uh, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.